In 1 Corinthians 15, Paul's not only preaching the resurrection of Jesus, he's making an airtight legal defense of it. First, let's look at the evidence. In this case, we have an empty tomb. Now, even the Romans guarding it have admitted that Jesus' body was missing. And ancient Roman documents include Jesus' trial, execution, and stories of the rise of the early church. Next in this chapter, Paul presents himself as a first-hand witness to the risen Savior. Not only did he encounter Jesus on the way to Damascus, it completely changed his life. He went from killing Christians to being their greatest missionary. Now in most cases, you're lucky to have one or two witnesses, but in this case, there are over 512 people who have been documented not only seeing the risen Savior, but listening, talking, interacting, some even touching him. But are they credible witness? Well, yes. In verse 30 and 31, Paul says that his life is in danger every day because he preaches about the resurrection. And history tells us that some of these witnesses were persecuted even to death because they would not recount their stories that Jesus was the risen Messiah. So as Paul shows us, there's no legal system in the world that could refute the resurrection of Jesus based on evidence. People may try to explain it away, but all the evidence points to one thing. Jesus rose from the grave, and therein lies our hope. Listen to verse 55. Oh death, where is your victory? O oh, death, where is your sting? For sin is the sting that results in death, and the law gives sin its power. But thank God he gives us victory over sin and death through our Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm.